First and foremost, I want to thank all of you for the comments and compliments regarding my uh, reconditioning of this little hatchet, this little Collins double bit. And uh, I wanted to take the time to show you the completed project. So remember I scraped the handle and finished the handle with uh, shoe polish, shoe grease. And I did go ahead and paint the head. So the reasoning, the reason I painted the head is because it's something my grandfather said that he uh, wished that he would have accomplished when he was working on this hatchet. And I figured if I didn't like it, five minutes on a wire wheel would take it off of there, so I might as well take a crack at it. If I painted it and didn't like it, I could fix it, but if I never painted it, I'd never know whether I was going to like it or not. And I'll tell you what, I like it. It really turned out nice. It really makes the, make the hatchet pop and really look new. And really looks more reconditioned. And I just like it. And um, I think it's different than anything anybody else has done. So, again, I really appreciate all the comments and compliments that you guys have uh, given me throughout this process. And I, it's been an honor to share this uh, to share this reconditioning with you. So, and the story behind it uh, with my grandparents, my grandpas. And, um, again, I just, I really enjoy YouTube, and I've really enjoyed my YouTube family and all the, uh, all the comments and compliments. So, I hope you enjoyed this hatchet reconditioning, and I want to give you a little bit of a sneak peek of the next one. I'm kind of hooked on this whole axe reconditioning thing, and I've had this hat, this, uh, homestead faller axe head laying around for a long time it's really in pretty bad shape it's got a lot of pitting and stuff probably gonna really soak this one for a while get a lot of the rust off of it uh, it'll be a while before i get into this project but that's the next one right there so anyway take care my friends